to access all this information? Electrical impulses. Every cell knows and talks to every other cell. They exchange a thousand bits of information between them per second. Cells group together, forming a giant web of communication, which in turn forms matter. Cells get together, take on one form, deform, reform. Makes no difference, it's all the same. Humans consider themselves unique, so they've rooted their whole theory of existence on their uniqueness. One is their unit of measure, but it's not. All social systems we put into place are a mere sketch. One plus one equals two, that's all we've learned. But one plus one has never equaled two. There are, in fact, no numbers and no letters. We've codified our existence to bring it down to human size, to make it comprehensible. We've created a scale so that we can forget its unfathomable scale. But if humans are not the unit of measure, and the world isn't governed by mathematical laws, what governs all that? Film a car speeding down a road. Speed up the image infinitely, and the car disappears. So what proof do we have of its existence? Time gives legitimacy to its existence. Time is the only true unit of measure. It gives proof to the existence of matter. Without time, we don't exist. Time is unity. Are you sure you need such huge doses? I'm afraid you won't survive. Some cells inside me will fight and defend their integrity till the very end. In order to attain the last few percent, I have to force it to crack the cells open to their nucleus. All this knowledge, Lucy. I'm not even sure that mankind is ready for it. We're so driven by power and profit. Given man's nature, it might bring us only instability and chaos. Ignorance brings chaos, not knowledge. I'll build a computer and download all my knowledge in it. I'll find a way for you to have access to it. Yeah. I just hope we will be worthy of your sacrifice. Looking for energy and matter. And she's trying to connect with our computers. Generation computer, I presume. 